Cal OES logo, Inside Look, OESnews.com. We always hear the phrase, it's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when the next big earthquake will hit California. Hi, I'm Brian May. We've come to San Diego for the latest in a series of tests of California's earthquake early warning system. These tests proving that key seconds can be crucial in getting people ready. For more on this test, here's Sean Boyd. Yeah, thanks, Brian. There is no doubt that even a few seconds warning can make a big difference. Experts at the U.S. Geological Survey and at Cal OES are confident that using cell phone technology to deliver shake alerts will work. Well, it's time to test that theory once again. It's the day before the big day. I almost like to think of it like the ball drop on New Year's Eve. The countdown is on. A lot of work and planning for Thursday's <coughs> earthquake early warning test by the Governor's Office of Emergency Services, the U.S. Geological Survey, and San Diego County. Their emergency operations center will be the epicenter for the test. Our partners uh, here have offered up this area for us to conduct our test. I think most people in the state of California, when they think of earthquakes, they always think of the San Andreas. It's a little bit like the Brady Bunch and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. We hear all about the San Andreas all the time. Uh, but in San Diego County, we have, an, we have a significant earthquake risk. Just like the first test in Oakland in March, this test of Shake Alert using the Wireless Emergency Alert System, also known as WIA, will help Cal OES and the USGS figure out if WIA can send an earthquake early warning to millions of phones simultaneously and just how fast. Folks have brought extra phones, we'll all have our phones, we'll put it on the table, we'll be able to film and watch exactly what happens uh, once the test alert is generated. A county with a high risk fault running right through its city is incentive enough to learn more here in San Diego. A map of San Diego and surrounding areas has a line labeled Rose Canyon Fault near the coast. And so what I'm hoping to learn tomorrow is how um, reliable are wireless emergency alerts. There's a lot of mystery sort of surrounding the system. Their cards are all on the table. All kinds of cell phones and tablets from different carriers. Now the question is, what kind of hand will they be dealt in the morning? A jet flies overhead. The big day is here. When the USGS pushes the button in Pasadena, the test shake alert will head for all phones in San Diego County. The ball drops at 11. We start hearing the alerts come through on our phone and we're able to document exactly which phone gets the alert at what time, take all that data together after, review it, and we can use it to make an informed decision about whether or not wireless emergency alerts is the way to go for earthquake early warning. So that's two live tests down and more to come, each one giving scientists the data they need to confidently say, let's roll it out. Now with more on what the shake alerts are doing to take the Spanish speaking population into consideration, here's Monica Vargas. Monica. Thanks, Sean. San Diego County is one of two California counties bordering the country of Mexico. And because of that proximity, San Diego County also has a large Spanish speaking population. Also, every single day for travel, for work, or leisure, there are thousands of travelers crossing between the U.S. and Mexico border around the clock. So, information in Spanish was an important consideration. The Shake Alert test outreach took place on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, through media interviews, a survey, radio ads, and more. These were all done in English and in Spanish. This was truly a bilingual effort. One of the main reasons why we translate our information into Spanish specifically is we do have about one million Hispanics living in San Diego County and about 400,000 people have been identified in the county as speaking a different language in the home and speaking English less than very well. So it's really important for us to ensure that they get that information. Emergency efforts in Spanish for San Diego residents doesn't end with this shake alert test. There are many emergency and preparedness resources available through the county's website, Listo San Diego, that can help you be ready for the next earthquake. On Listo San Diego, residents can access information on how to make an emergency plan, how to build a kit, how to stay informed with those disaster updates. The county also has a free preparedness app called SD Emergency, which has Spanish language features. You can find it in your app store. 
Be sure to visit ReadySanDiego.org for more preparedness information. There you will also find links to Spanish language resources. If you're looking for more resources in Spanish or other languages, be sure to visit ready.gov and caloes.ca.gov. Back to you, Brian. All right, thanks, Monica. And remember, if you receive one of these shake alerts, three words, drop, cover, and hold on. And also remember, nothing takes the place of having a family emergency plan ready to go when you need it. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.